It is officially the start of a new year, which means that a new semester is right around the corner for me. And not only is this a new semester, but it will also be my last semester of undergrad. Hey there lovelies, happy new year. I'm Caroline from A Meaningful Blog, and today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the tools that I'm using in my last semester of undergrad. This spring, I'll be getting my bachelor's of science in psychology. And then after that, I will be continuing on and finishing up my master's of education in school counseling. I have been looking forward to this for a very long time and I just keep thinking, oh, in 2022, in 2022, I'll get my degree, I'll be one step closer to um, a job that I've wanted for a really long time. And then I woke up a few days ago and was like, oh crap. <laughs> that's this year and I'm excited but I'm definitely nervous about it. I started college in 2017 and seeing the finish line is really really exciting. Over the last five years I've had the opportunity to narrow down the school supplies that I really enjoy using and today I wanted to share them with you. The first item is going to be my planner. This is going to be a bullet journal and I've actually already started it and I use my planner every day. I I'm super excited to be using a bullet journal this year because I've been using the Happy Planner and Plum Paper Planner for the last five years since I started college. But this year I decided that I wanted to create my own planner and that is what this is. The reason I decided to go with a bullet journal this year is because I want the ability to super personalize my planner and a bullet journal allows me to put exactly what I need in it, no more and no less. I still have hundreds and hundreds of stickers from the Happy Planner and I'll probably use those at some point in this planner so that I can just use them and get rid of them, but that's no longer my focus, especially because this semester I really just need to focus on school. While my planner is going to be used to keep me organized, this is going to be used to keep everything in one place and to get all of my assignments done. This is my Windows Surface Go 2 and the Surface Pen and the keyboard. I got this in December and I absolutely love it. It's super lightweight and I like that the keyboard detaches and reattaches. Like I said, I have the pen so I can write notes, I can sketch things for notes and it makes my life a lot easier. While on the subject of my computer, I use Google Suite for pretty much everything having to do with school. I'm taking two online classes this semester and three in-person classes. One of my in-person classes is banned, so I'm not really gonna need my computer. But the other two, I will definitely need my computer for to take notes on lecture and to write papers. And I'll also need to write papers for my online classes and turn in assignments that way. A lot of professors use the Google Suite to share documents with students and PowerPoints with students. So Google is definitely something that I need. My university also gives every student their own Google account. So using the Google Suite just makes the most sense. I especially like the Google Calendar option to create a Google document from a calendar event. At the beginning of each semester, I put all of my classes into my Google Calendar and I am able to go to that class, click on that event, and create a Google Doc for my notes for that specific lecture and I can keep every single class organized. The next school supply I have on this list isn't something I usually would put on this list, but I'm really excited to be able to do that this semester. My Kindle Paperweight is going to be a lifesaver this semester. For my capstone class, I am going to be reading a lot, a lot of books. I think there's like eight or ten books on the list, on the list, on the syllabus, and I'm able to download nine of them, eight or nine of them yeah, I think nine of them, onto my Kindle so I can just easily have it accessible to me along with all of the other books that I read for pleasure, which I am hoping to do more of in 2022. My next school supply is this, this small little egg. If you don't know what this is, this is the Google Pixel Buds A-Series case, 
and inside is two Google Pixel Buds. Actually, right now there's just one because the other is in my ear recording all of the sound for this video. I really like the quality of the microphone on these and I love that they're super small and compact and there's no cords to, that I have to deal with. So I can easily take these wherever I want to go. I can take these to the library to watch video lectures. I can listen to music in the library. I can go to a coffee shop and watch video lectures or listen to music while I'm studying. I know that I probably don't have to put these items on my school supplies list, but these three writing utensils are my absolute faves. This is the Paper Mate Clear Point 0.7 millimeter pencil. And so this is a number two pencil. And to get the pencil to come out, you push this button, which I'm not sure you can see. You push this button here and the lead comes out and to get an eraser, you twist it and it pops up, which I absolutely love. I don't have to push all the way up here and then go back to how I'm holding my pencil. I can just easily write, pop my finger up and give myself some more lead. And then when I'm erasing, I don't have to worry about pushing out way more lead than I actually need. My next is the Muji 0.5 pen. It's this is just a black pen and I use it for everything. I use it for titles in my notes. When I'm handwriting things, I use it in my planner. It writes really smooth and I can't say enough good things about it. And finally, the Zebra Mild Liner. I love these because there is a chisel tip so I can highlight things and there is a bullet tip so I can use it to actually write words. The next two items on my list might seem a little bit odd and I don't have one of them up here with me, but they are my Hydro Flask, which I got a new one for Christmas. I absolutely love my Hydro Flask because I drink lots and lots and lots and lots of water. So this is super awesome to only have to fill up like a couple times a day. And I don't have to worry about finding a water fountain or a place to fill it up because it holds a decent amount of water. And the next item is my Vessies. I got these for Christmas and I absolutely love them. And I know you're probably asking how are shoes a school supply, but these are waterproof, which is really awesome when you live in Michigan. I do have winter boots but sometimes those can be a little bit restricting, um, especially when it's warm outside, but there's still snow on the ground or mud or rain or whatever else. So I really like having the Vessies because everything just kind of beads off of them and I don't have to feel constricted in my footwear. And I can wear other clothes that maybe wouldn't look good with winter boots, if that makes sense. <laughs> Finally, my last item I don't have with me on my chair, it's over in the corner, and it is my Epson EcoTank ET2800. Epson EcoTank ET2800. I think this is an amazing printer. I have wanted one for a very long time, and I got one for Christmas, and I'm super thankful. But this is going to save me so much energy and time because until now I either didn't have a printer or I had a printer that was it didn't work it stressed me out so I don't have to make sure that I get up early enough and leave the house early enough to go print stuff off at the library but also late enough that the library is open so I am super excited to be able to print as much as I need without worry that I'm going to run out of ink Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. I have put a link to every single one of the items I talked about in the description box below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok so we can connect on a more personal note and stay lovely and have a meaningful day.